this is Movie from Gaming Nights and Co. UK and the Gaming Nights Retrocast. I'm here at the Replay Expo 2011, here with Michael from Pandora. Thank you for joining us, sir. Yeah, hi there. Uh, and this is the new Pandora system, I believe. Well, this is uh, a special edition in silver. The normal system is in black. We've got it right here. That's Excellent. We'll get some closer. It will look like. Um, and yeah, it's a Pandora system that's been in development for a couple of years and it's coming out now in uh, January. We're doing the so. prototype production run this month and then it's full production run time. Um, and basically it's a mixture of, well, you can say a Nintendo DS and a netbook if you want to say so. You got a keyboard, you got a touch screen, high resolution. So it's basically a mini PC uh, combined with a gaming device. Excellent. Right, let's get some close up shots and we'll uh, go through the actual uh, tech itself. Okay, so here we are with the Pandora. Um, so, talk us through it. Yeah, that's one of the interfaces. That's basically the full desktop mode. So you can see, as on a normal PC, you got your start menu where you can run any programs. Um, you can do office stuff uh, like uh, networking, browser. Uh, you've got Chromium, Fennec, Firefox, Midori. You've got all your normal programs you've got on your PC. Um, this is one of the interfaces, so you can use it as a PC. Or what you can also do is uh, switch to another interface, um, which I just do in real time here. This is the, uh, a mini menu, which is basically then a system just for playing games. So it's basically like on a gaming console, you will see a lot of the applications takes a while because I've got, I think, about 200 applications and game on there. <laughs> yeah, I've got a really a lot of them. I should sort them out a bit. Okay, here we come. Um, and so you can then simply select the game you want to run and start it. And with the gaming controls you have, you got a proper D-pad here and proper buttons here as well as analog controls. Um, you can play any classic game. You can play up to PlayStation emulation. So full speed PlayStation, Amiga, C64, BBC Micro, Spectrum, anything like that, Super Nintendo. You can also play some Nintendo 64 games in full speed. Um, Excellent. So that's your gaming part. Or you can play any of the homebrew games. There are a lot of homebrew games out there like Frogetto or Super Geometry Wars, uh, Lemmings. There are a lot of Linux games ported on there and it's completely open. So you don't need to do any jailbreak or hack the system. It's open. You can. Uh, you have the source code, you can code your own games for it. And well, it's got a big community, and the community is releasing games daily, basically. Brilliant. So, um, I guess the, the main question will be what's this thing going to re retail for? Do, do we know? Um, well, it, it should be about £390. Uh, it's not set yet because the production is taking place, uh, is, is being paid in euro, and right now the euro is going up and down, so yeah, it not. might be a bit cheaper as well, so, but we'll see, but it should be something about 390, yeah. Excellent. So you're saying it's got an office suite on there as well? I mean, what, can we use this as a, almost like a mini PC, computer yeah, sure, kind sure. of a thing? Or? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, well, um, I won't find the office in, in game. Um, there's Abbey Word. That's basically your normal text editor you got there. So uh, it's something like Word here. You can see, you can uh, type your stuff. You can use either the uh, touch screen if you like. Just simply make the text bigger, uh, bigger if you like. So it works like a, a normal uh, um, text editor. You can also make it full screen if you need more space. You can also use uh, the TV out. There's a TV out here. Uh, and a USB port, so you can connect a keyboard and a mouse, connect it to the TV out, uh, to the TV, and then you basically got a mini PC on your TV as well. Excellent. As well as a web surfing station. So what kind of specs has this, this thing got, or PC was, do we? Well, it's got an OMAP CPU in there, uh, OMAP 4, um, running with a stock speed at 600 megahertz, but you can easily uh, overclock it to about 900 megahertz. Um, so it's pretty decent for a mobile device. Cool. As I said, it's, it's, it runs PlayStation emulation full speed, um, which is pretty amazing. So it's enough for everyday work. and uh, It's pretty cool having it in your pocket, surfing the web, then uh, going back playing games, playing classic games or new games. Some people are directly coding the games on the system itself because you've got a keyboard and you can compile on it. So technically, can we do uh, multimedia su such as uh, video and uh, you know playing films, things like that? Like you yeah, can you can do so as well. You have to install the codecs because they're not uh, we yeah. can't uh, uh, give them for free away. 
um, but people are also installing the uh, different codecs. It's easy. You just uh, get one file, install it, start that, and that's it. Excellent. Okay, thank you for your, thank you for your time. And uh, when when's this going to release? Then you say say uh, January next year. Is that right? It should be. Yeah. We said we've got the prototypes now in November, and if the prototypes run fine, then it should be no uh, January. If the prototypes need a little fix, uh, then it should be about February. Excellent. And that's the Pandora. Thank you very much. Thanks to you. I like to move it, move it, fit, fit, fit.